Hey, Tubies. It's Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be with you guys. Well, I've been sitting here today just meditating on this wonderful pendant. Some of you may have seen this. This is one of my older pendants. It's made of pewter, and it's the Wiccan Pentacle, and it looks like it's kind of like woven vines, and it's got a little star inside the star. I just love it, and uh, anyways, I've been sitting here meditating on this today, and just reflecting on drawing energy from the stars. Um, as many of you know, I'm working on getting over a cold. I'm doing pretty good, but last night I thought I was having a relapse. I started getting really sick again. So I've been taking it easy today. I went and got me some vitamin C. I'm not being endorsed by this company, but I, I went to Rite Aid and I got me some vitamin C. And I always find that when I take vitamin C, it just kicks my body into gear. So. I'm working on that. <clears throat> Anyways, I want to come here today, um, say hello to you. And first of all, thank you. Thank you to all of you who came up to last night's video. We had the best time. We had the witching hour. So if you didn't see that, that's in the video queue right before this one. Definitely check it out. Well, today's Monday, and, and normally we do horoscopes today. But I am really trying to conserve my energy. As I said, I'm going up and down. And... Uh, so I'm not trying to overdo it. So what we're going to do today is I thought we'd have an abbreviated horoscope. So next week we'll go back to the normal. But I just want to cover the major transits. So this will give everybody a little help of what's going on through the day. Next week I'll cast all the individual horoscopes. But today I thought we'd just give a snapshot of what's going on this week in the stars. Okay. So anyways, I appreciate your understanding and working with me. It's like... You know, I was going to say I wasn't going to do a video today, and I said, oh, I don't have the energy to do horoscopes. And I said, well, how about a bit middle ground? Maybe I'll halfway do the horoscopes. That's better than nothing, and uh, I think you guys understand. As Psyche Bob has always said, I've said it, and I mean it, I'm here for the long haul. You know, if I want to kill myself and strain myself and be a flash in the pan, yeah, that'll work. The long term is what I'm aiming for, so... I'm willing to let go a little of the momentary glory to be here long term. So let's talk about what's going on in the stars for you. Okay, well, you know, this week we're starting off. Um, let me just kind of give you the transits here. So this, by the way, these um, transits and horoscopes are for Monday, November the 5th, 2018 through Sunday, November the 11th, 2018. So 11.05 to 1111. 2018 okay all right well we got an interesting week here okay today we're starting out with our sun in the sign of scorpio scorpio hold on where's my zodiac wheel here's our wheel let me find our scorpio symbol here da, 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 da. scorpio where's scorpio there it is scorpio is the scorpion okay see there's our wheel it's got all 12 zodiac signs there's the scorpion, okay? So we're starting out in that sign day, which is a water sign. And um, we're going to be in the sign of Scorpio until the 22nd when we move over into Sagittarius. So from now till November 22nd, we're in Scorpio. So happy birthday to all our Scorpios. Uh, today our moon is in the sign of Libra, which is an air sign. Uh, we've got our Sun trine Neptune, which I'm going to come back and talk to in just a minute. We've got our Moon trine Mars. we got Venus trine Mars. What all this adds up to is this is a day where you want to express how you feel. It's a day definitely for emotions, but emotions to be honored so that you can be productive in your life. So if you're feeling something expressive, because that Moon in Libra allows you to bring out your inner feelings, your inner thoughts, your inner hopes and dreams. And with all of these uh, trine aspects today, we've got a lot of power to really kind of bring things to the forefront. Moon trine Mars brings up that expression, that passion feeling. Venus trine Mars means you're in touch with your feelings. All of this under a Scorpio sun, which is the emotional sun, and a Libra air sign means talk it out, feel it, be part of it. That is the secret to today. Now, let me talk about one of the transits here. Today we're starting off with our Sun trine Neptune. This is a very interesting transit. And in fact, we're going to have the Sun trine Neptune every single day this week. And that is whenever the Sun highlights something, 
It, the sun is an illuminator. It means it brings it to the forefront. Neptune is the planet of the hidden self, the deep emotion, the psychic self. And the sun being trident gives power to it. It means that your psychic senses are going to be really heightened this week. So you want to honor that, pay attention to how you feel. Um, this is a time where things that are hidden within start to surface. So if you've been having ideas you want to express, things that you've just been saying, oh, I don't know if I should say it, I'm a little scared. Well, that sun trine Neptune gives you power to bring out that inner depth of self. So it's a really a powerful aspect. And for those of you who have said, Psyche Bob, I don't have a psychic bone in my body. Well, guess what? Sun trine Neptune is giving you power this week. So pay attention to that inner wisdom, that inner voice, and let it come out this week. Okay, so that's a powerful aspect. Got all week. Now, going into Tuesday, tomorrow, which is uh, November the 6th, um, we've got our moon uh, still in Libra, which is that air energy. We've got our moon opposite Uranus tomorrow and Venus trine Mars. What this all means is be prepared tomorrow on Tuesday for sudden favorable changes of opinion. It's a day in which allies are made. So if you have people that you work with and you're feeling like, you know, Bob, I don't know, these people are always chancy and we don't really connect and get on. Be prepared to have a friend made out of that. Tomorrow is a day where you're going to make friends, influence people, and form alliances. It's a really good day. Let that Libra energy bring balance, avoid extremes. Um, that Venus trine Mars makes people very excited about being with each other. And even people who don't like each other are going to like each other tomorrow. So there's going to be a chance to build bridges, okay? So be open to sudden changes because the moon in opposition to Uranus stirs up sudden dramatic changes, especially on the inner feeling side. So people who may not have liked you or people you haven't liked, suddenly you're going to see them in a new light. You're like, you know what? I think we can work together. So tomorrow's a great day to, to build bridges of friendship, okay? Now, going into Wednesday, that's the 7th, uh, we've got our... So, excuse me, our moon moving over into Scorpio. Now, what's interesting is our sun is also in Scorpio on Wednesday. So we got double water energy. That can be a little chancy because people may be a little over emotional. But the good side of it is, is that people will be very sensitive to truth and to wisdom and their own inner feelings. And you should be attentive to how you feel. Go with your gut on Wednesday, I'm telling you. Now, what's also amazing, we got some other transits on Wednesday. Not only is our sun in Scorpio, our moon is in Scorpio, we've got our sun tri-Neptune and our moon tri-Neptune. Neptune is the psychic planet. What this means, Wednesday is major, major, major psychic power day. In fact, I don't think, I can't recall recently that I've seen any day that's had this much power alignment. All of those, the sun and the moon in water signs, and the sun and the moon trying the most powerful psychic plan. Wednesday is the day where if you've never believed in psychic stuff, be open to it on Wednesday because you'll definitely see it, sense it, and feel it, okay? It's going to be a psychic power day. As myself being a professional psychic, I'm excited about that. That's going to be a good day. You want a good reading, get on my schedule for Wednesday, <laughs> okay? Because that would sure to be a good day for for psychic readings. All right, now going into Thursday, the 8th of November, um, we've got our moon still in Scorpio. That's a wonderful water energy. We've got our moon square Mars, Mercury square Neptune, Venus trine Mars. What all that means, that's kind of a day, let me tell you, these, these transits are a little challenging on Thursday, not in necessarily a bad way, but what it means is, um, you know, be charming, okay? Venus trine Mars means you get to turn on your sex appeal. You'll look good, you're gonna feel good, you'll present well, okay? So you can be charming. But the other transits here, Mercury square Neptune and Moon square Mars, give us a warning and it says, just stick to the facts, especially in work. Don't speculate, don't get so full of yourself that you just start rambling at the mouth. Really focus on what you're saying and stick to the facts because it would be very easy to step in the wrong direction on Thursday. That being said, there's a lot of energy that favors positive interactions, but stick to the facts. Keep it simple. Kiss. Keep it simple. Stupid. Actually, I don't like to call people stupid. Keep it simple. Special one. Okay. Keep things very simple, very clear. 
and you're going to rock that day. Okay, so remember those transits. Now, going into Friday this week, Friday on the 9th of November, we've got our moon moving over to Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a wonderful moon sign because that's fire energy. That brings up inspiration. And Sagittarius is the sign, the hunter, the gatherer. So you're going to be in a motivated moon. Now, let me tell you, we got some challenging aspects that, that are going to kind of put a little damper on that, though. Now, don't get upset, but our sun is trying Neptune. Of course, that's, as I mentioned, going on all week, which will put you in touch with that inner psychic self. However, here's the caution. Mercury is square Neptune that day, and Mars is square Jupiter. What that means is that you're going to have challenges in getting people together, particularly in business. Could be a challenging day. Um, Mars square Jupiter means that people may feel a little fire or oversensitive, particularly in the financial area or work area, so be very careful. Because the moon is in Sagittarius, you may have a sense of being compulsive or impulsive, wanting to go out and just conquer things. My advice for, for Friday is don't, just wait. Even though there's a lot of high-powered transit energy, it's all saying don't act now. Thursday would be a day, uh, excuse me, Friday is a day where you want to really kind of sit back and be more observant rather than action, action oriented. Because you, with that moon in Sagittarius, you're going to want to go out and slay your opponents and win, but don't. Be patient, wait another day, okay? Now, let me tell you, once we go into, into uh, Saturday, our moon is still in Sagittarius, which is that high power of fire energy. Um... Our sun is trying Neptune that day, which again, powerful aspect. Venus is trying Mars. The moon, though, is square Neptune, and Mercury is square Neptune. Again, this is going to be a day where you've got to stay back out of the fray, observe, and be silent. You want to observe what's going on around you. Now, what's interesting is that that moon square Neptune means that you may have trouble seeing that which is hidden, but... With the sun trine Neptune, that indicates that what you're seeking is not in actually in hiding. It's directly in front of you, hiding, as they say, in plain sight. So Saturday is the day to be observant, to pay attention. Don't jump to jump. Be very slow to act. Mercury square Neptune means going to be hard to have that inner dialogue or get people to understand. It's really a day just to observe what's going on around you and notice that the truth that you're seeking is hiding right in plain sight, okay? If you observe that, you'll get through Saturday without any jumbles, okay? Now, going into Sunday, our moon's moving over into Capricorn. And I tell you, after this high power week, that's probably a good thing because Capricorn is Earth energy. That's going to bring things down a little bit, a little bit of balance here. Um, and we got an interesting day. We've got our moon trying Uranus that day, which means sudden shifts of the heart, emotions, feelings, inner thing. It's kind of like sudden shifts. Venus is in opposition to Uranus, which again stirs up emotions. So with the moon trying Uranus and Venus in opposition to Uranus, definitely a day of the heightened, heightened emotion sensitivity. A lot of feelings will be moving, okay? Venus is square Mars, okay? Now that could make people a little tense a little, I like to call that kind of a sexual tension sort of energy. You know, it's like you love them and hate them at the same time. And then we've got Mars square Jupiter. What that means is that Sunday is not a business day. Don't try to go to the office and conquer it. You see, no, there's no energy. People are too emotional. You're not going to be focused. But what this is, is this is the love day. Sunday is a day where you can flirt, you can have a little romance, and be open to people. You know, if you ask somebody out that you thought would never go out with you, well, I tell you, with that Venus in opposition to Uranus means that they may suddenly swing and say, you know what, I do want to go on a date with you. So really, Sunday's our romance day. It's a day to explore relationships, making new friendships, letting love be present, and having fun with it, and, and a little luxury. Moon in Capricorn means give yourself some luxury grounding. So, you know, take a date out, make it a fun time, maybe do something luxurious, like treat them to a shopping spree or really fine food. Have fun on Sunday. Don't try to do business. It's just a pleasure day, okay? Well, guys, there are our trances for the week. That's about all I'm going to get out today. <clears throat> I'm actually feeling a lot better, but I don't want to press it, and um, I hope that you guys understand. So next week, we'll have the full rig of Moreau, all the horoscopes, but I want to bring something to you today and let you know I'm with you. And listen, if you didn't see yesterday's show, we had 
Uh, the Witching Hour on Sunday night was really great. We had a great turnout. So definitely see that. That's in the queue right before this one. And if you're sitting around and bored today and say, what am I going to do? Well, pop over to my website and check out my bookstore. I got books over there. Published works, Messages from Rose, Psyche Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom, um, what's this one? Psyche Bob's Book of Spells, and Ouija Mysteries. That's just a few. I have even more than that, but that's some of my books. Anyways, also, if you want to get on my schedule for a private reading, uh, I do have an opening still for this week. Give me a call, 703-825-3929. I'm going to have the phone number linked below. Definitely contact me. Get on my schedule for a reading. Visit my website, psychicbob.com. And uh, if you want, you can also write to me, readings at robert-hickman.com. That link will be below as well, my email. Uh, now, if you do send me an email and want to get on my schedule for a reading, for whatever reason, I prefer that people call me to book a reading, but if you can't do that or whatever, you want to send an email, um, please, please include your phone number uh, because it makes it much easier to get back to get you scheduled. So, yeah, sometimes people want to write and they have explanation and it's too hard to explain on the phone, so they'd rather write a letter. That's fine, but make sure you include your phone number, okay, please. You guys are best. I love you. Thank you for your understanding and your patience today. As Psyche Bob works on balancing his energy to be here the long haul. I love you guys. Listen, keep it here at Spirit Channel. Help me out. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends. Hit subscribe, be part of our channel. And like I always say every week, if you're at a time of challenge in your life, don't give in to despair. Just pause and look to the stars. The zodiac wheel above us is always spinning, and each day brings new opportunities and new blessings for a new beginning. So keep faith, hope, and love in your heart, and let the stars guide you on your way. You guys rock. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow for messages from the spirit world. Until then, may you always, blessed.